I recently finished my first block of medical school and I just wanted to talk about my progress up until this point, my results, and also give an overview of how it went. So in high school, I got a D in my freshman year in math. And in college, also in my freshman year, I got another D, also in math. As you can tell, math was not my forte. I was immature, and instead of taking personal responsibility, I blamed the professor. To be fair, the ratings for that professor for that quarter were the lowest I had ever seen throughout my entire four years at UC San Diego. But that's besides the point. I learned my lesson, and I took things into my own hands and started taking personal responsibility for my grades and I improved them enough to be able to get accepted into medical school where I just finished my first block and I once again got a D on one exam and an F on another exam. The curve didn't come out for about a week so I was fairly devastated during that time period. I had a feeling the curve would bump my grade up enough for me to pass but I wasn't quite certain. However, I did reach out to other medical students, both in my year and in classes above me. And I did feel better knowing that other people also doubted their ability to do well in medical school and also how students in the years above me had initially struggled during the first few months or blocks of medical school before they finally got their stride and learned how to study. And then a few days ago, the curve came out and my final grade for the course turned out to be a 78%, which is not great, but I passed and I passed by a larger margin than I had possibly hoped for. So I'm really happy about that at least. This is the first time since middle school that I will not have received a D during my first year of school. So in a sense, I feel kind of proud that I kind of improved from freshman year of high school and college when I received a D in classes my first year. However, as happy as I am, I am also determined to learn how to study better and to go into an exam feeling more confident because I definitely did not this time around. And lastly, moving on to my review of this block, it definitely felt rushed, like I didn't have enough time to study for everything and make sure I fully 100% understood everything. And unfortunately, that seems to be a feeling that I will have to get used to because everyone that I've spoken to, regardless of what year they're in, has expressed similar sentiments. So I think that's just kind of the norm in medical school, unfortunately. Studying in college is quite different than studying in medical school due to the sheer volume of information that I have to know and memorize. So I will definitely be experimenting with different study habits and techniques and various resources that I use before I hopefully find one that sticks well with me. Academics aside, I have been improving my Spanish and guitar skills, and I've also become involved in a few student clubs. Unfortunately, there were a few weeks where I slacked off on exercise and keeping my room organized. Because I was stressed, and even though I know exercise helps me um, stay alert and keep myself focused when I study, I felt like there wasn't enough time for it, which is not a great mentality to have, but I'm just letting you know and being honest that I did slack off for a few weeks. Um, but as you can see, it is organized. I have started exercising again, so I'm back on the ball for those two things. So overall, my first block wasn't terrible. It wasn't great, um, but hopefully I'll get better from here on out now that I'm more familiar with how medical school works. And lastly, until I hammer out my study habits, I've decided that YouTube is a bit too time consuming for me to continue doing every week. So I will still be posting on Sundays when I do post, but it will not be on a weekly basis and it may not even be on a monthly basis depending on how busy I am. School will always come first, so I've been doing my best to prioritize that. However, I have been doing my best to reply to various comments and questions that I have received. I know that many of you are currently applying or are getting ready to apply to medical school, so please feel free to reach out if you need any advice or would like any of your questions answered. I'll do my best. Alright, that's it for tonight. I will see you another Sunday, and until then, I surely hope that you will take care of your health.